Recording your income and expenses in your Rentec Direct account is easy. Before you begin posting transactions, consider your chart of accounts or the categories you will use to describe each transaction you record. Your account is equipped with a standard set of categories to choose from. Here you will find your list of income and expense categories. You can adjust the default category numbers or you can add new categories. Categories used in transactions will appear in your financial reports. When adding a new category, there are three transaction types you can choose from. The other category is used for posting ledger adjustments and will not be reflected in your income and expense reports. Most transaction classes will be standard. Property managers may want to select the class of management fees for a new category if they are cutting a check to their management company for expenses that fall outside of standard management fees. Additional categories will assist you in tracking your transactions in more detail. For example, adding a separate income category for online payment transaction fees will allow you to link it into your online payment settings. Keep in mind, new transaction categories can be added at any time under your settings. Transactions are handled through the pages in your account that the transaction applies to. For tenant charges or payment transactions, head to the tenant page and use the option in the menu or the icons below the tenant balance. Tenant charges will default to a category of 110 charge, and this is the category you'll want to use. The other expense categories in your chart of accounts are used for property and account transactions not for tenant transactions. In a tenant transaction, you'll notice options to add memo notes and make attachments to your transactions. If a charge is a new recurring charge, select the option within the transaction. Remember though, recurring rent charges were already generated at move-in, so this option is reserved for additional recurring charges. If you are recording an individual tenant payment, do so through the tenant page. Be sure to complete each field in each transaction. Notice the defaults that carry over into a tenant payment. If you do not see your desired elements in your tenant payment transaction, review your property settings. If you post a tenant payment through the property page, automated management fees for tenant payments won't apply. Notice the option to deselect the auto management fee if needed. A tenant payment can be split, allowing you to break out a payment into multiple categories. Click the Add Line option to split out a tenant payment. At the bottom of the tenant payment transaction, notice the option to post multiple transactions through the account page. Choose the option to post payments from the bank account menu or use the icon below the bank account balance. Complete all the fields in the top window for your first transaction in your batch. When you are ready to add another payment to your batch, click the New Transaction button in the lower window. Your ledger of transactions will accumulate in the lower window until you are ready to post all your transactions. When you are ready to record all transactions, click the Post Income button. Before you begin recording property transactions, verify your property page settings are correct. If they are not, your transactions will not flow to all ledgers properly and will make reconciliation challenging. When you have a transaction that is property-based, such as a vendor charge, you'll post this through the property page using the menu option or the icons below the balance. Be sure to complete each of the fields in a transaction as they affect your financial reports. Property transactions can be recurring and they can be depreciated. Attachments to transactions can be made and shared automatically with the property owner. Remember, if an expense is not tenant related, do not link them into a property expense transaction. Property income that is not tenant based can be recorded to a property through the property page. If you have a property transaction you need to split into multiple categories or to multiple properties, post it through the accounts page. When posting a split property transaction, each transaction has the option to be broken into multiple properties or categories. Similar to the option of batch tenant rent payments, 
multiple property transactions can be recorded at once through the accounts page. For example, if you pay all your bills on the same day, the batch expense option eliminates posting individual transactions one at a time through the property page. If you have transactions that only apply to a bank account, post these through the accounts page. For example, if you have bank fees to record, this would be done through the accounts page. If using the batch transaction tool, the accounts page will display the transaction totals you have sitting in draft mode for either income or expenses. This feature allows you to step away from your desk and return to where you left off and continue your batch activity. To learn advanced skills related to posting transactions, check your knowledge base for detailed instructions. Don't hesitate to reach out to your client success team if you need help.